All right, guys, so in this first video, we're going to talk about what web platform to use. We're going to talk about Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, and ClickFunnels. I'm going to go through each, show you some examples of each, and talk about what the advantages and disadvantages are. And then you'll know exactly where to go from there. I have uh, definitely my preference, but I'll tell you where some of the other ones besides the one that I use um, will fit in. Okay, so let's hop into the computer and I'll start showing you stuff right away. And at the end of this, you're going to know exactly what you should use and how to move forward. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now that I definitely believe 100% in doing custom WordPress websites. Almost every single time, that's what I'm going to use. However, I'm going to show you some of the other options that are available. And I'll tell you times when you might want to use them. Okay, but this is one of this is probably the main question I see go up on the social media private Facebook group. Okay, and I see it in other groups too. So let's get into it. So let's start actually with Wix. There's Wix, Squarespace, ClickFunnels, WordPress, Weebly. I'm not even going to talk about Weebly because who even cares? Um, but if we look at Wix. Wix is an amazing tool. You can create websites almost instantly. They'll look great. All you have to do is go over to the templates that they have. And they have a good variety of templates and you can just essentially go here to the Wix website. When you're on the Wix website, you click on templates. It's gonna take you over to this page. And then you can just look and pick something that looks appropriate for the company that you're working with. They have 50 pages of these and they even can put them by category. That makes it really easy and they look good too. So like say that we wanted to do this, we're gonna do something for a personal brand person. So this is a success coach one. They'll immediately load this up and then they'll let you click this and start editing it. You can put in the words you want to. Everything looks pretty nice. Just put some good pictures, some different words. Boom, you got a website. It'll all look fine. Here's the issue though. You have limited, very limited control over what you can do with the website. You can't customize the hell out of a Wix website because that's not what it's built for. It's built for people who don't know how to build a website so we're going to do a Wix site instead. And because of that, um, it's very limited. And so if you have a client who has a lot of special needs and then you want to keep adding on new functionality to them, you're only going to be able to do so much and you can only make it look so cool because there's like all these limitations. Plus, I think a lot of times they look a little bit cartoony, the Wix websites. But this is what you use Wix for. Use Wix if you have a client like one of the first websites I built I had this tiny retail store in my hometown and they had almost no money. They paid me 350 bucks. It was one of the first websites I built and I made it for them on Wix. And I had it done in probably six hours, including going to their place to take a bunch of pictures and shoot some video. I had it done in maybe six hours. They were totally happy. They pay all the hosting fees and it was just simple. I don't even talk to them anymore and they still have their website. It's still gonna be perfect. With something like Wix, with something like WordPress, if it goes down, you have to fix it. No one's there to just do all the work for you. But if a Wix site goes down, they have this whole help team and they'll make it work for you. So it's kind of cool for that. And plus it's kind of nice and cartoony. So if you have like someone who's more like a bubbly personality or a bubbly product, yeah, sure, go for it. It's fine, um, but you're just gonna be very limited. So know that. And the other thing with Wix is you don't own your website. And that's going to be the same for ClickFunnels. That's going to be the same for Squarespace. That's the same for Weebly. As soon as you stop paying them, your site disappears. When you make a WordPress website, that is your site. You can move it to any hosting company you want. You can take it down for a few months. You can put it up for a while and you have so much control. All right. So anyway, that's Wix. The next thing people will ask about is Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is actually very cool. I built some of my first websites, including my first company website on Squarespace. And you can see there are some, you know, there's some personalities that use it. Um, Keanu Reeves uses it. And it's cool. It looks so slick. 
That's the thing I love about Squarespace is it's just ultra slick. Everything looks so sharp and sleek and kind of rich. Like to me, Wix looks a little cartoony. I think Squarespace just looks kind of badass. But you are so limited, way more even than Wix. Because here's the thing, they have templates. And when I was making my site, first site a year ago, I saw the exact same templates. So they have a small limited number of templates it's gotten a little bit better, but still here, we're at the end of it. What was that? Maybe like 30 templates or something. And so you have thousands of people using only 30 templates. As soon as you see a square pit space site, you know, it's a square space site. Um, the nice thing is you can't do much wrong because it's so limited. There's not a lot you can do wrong. And also they have uh, help files and tutorials and help videos made for everything. Okay, so anyway, that's Squarespace. Not that different from Wix, but it's a little bit slicker. I still don't recommend it because you're still renting a website. You want to own a website. Next thing I'm going to go to is WordPress. And then after WordPress, I'll talk about ClickFunnels really quick. I mean, so this is my website that I made on WordPress. Uh, it's not terribly hard to make. And I have all these integrated features that I can customize. Like for instance, some can go here and they can go right to my funnel to book a strategy call, or they could go here and I actually have a specialized login portal that all my clients have access to where they go in and I created this custom feature where they go in and it's just like logging in to see your AT&T bill where they can go in there and they can see all their previous invoices. They can see the other products and services that I offer, special notes I made just for them, access to our Google Drive, things like that. You can't do that with any of these other website builders. It's super custom. I make this exactly how I want to. I put all the SEO tags and everything. I have this cool little video running in the back. This is exactly the shade of color I want. You can't control all these individual colors and fonts on other ones. Anyway, so this, is, this isn't this is even the best site I've built, but it's pretty good. And this is WordPress. And I'll tell you, you're not gonna make a site like this on Wix or ClickFunnels. You can't. So this is a big tech company. This site is so rich and it has probably 30 pages of material. And you know, you're just, you're not going to be able to do this on one of these cheaper sites. Uh, so anyway, I am a huge proponent of doing WordPress. And the thing with WordPress is that you can do all these custom features. So when you're talking to a client about how much you're going to charge them and you keep adding on more and more and more features, like, oh, I'm going to do pricing tables here. I'm going to integrate payment systems here. I'm going to let you sell your own products uh, here through an online store. And I'm also going to have a sales funnel on this page and I'll have multiple landing pages for you to drive your Facebook ads funnels to. And I'll have a special um, login portal just for your information. I'll have this and that and this and that and do all this stuff and maximize your SEO and customize your blogs and everything. You can't do it with anything else but WordPress. Uh, there's other ones, but it's definitely the best one. So I strongly recommend it. It's what I use for all my sites. And, you know, over a third of the world is on WordPress. And when you talk about small businesses, it's probably more than half. I mean, Sony Music uses WordPress. The Times uses WordPress. Anyway, all right, so WordPress is far, far, far and away my favorite. And because it's so custom, you can charge them. Mm, you can charge them nice money for it. Plus, you have complete control. If you want to take it down, you can take it down anytime, put it up anytime you want. So let's look at a couple of ClickFunnels things. Now, ClickFunnels, a lot of people talk about this. You've probably seen Russell Brunson all the time. He has created an amazing product. ClickFunnels is amazing. But what it's amazing for is for funnels. It's not amazing for websites. Like this right here, this is an authority website. This is a sales funnel. It's quick. It's just getting you right into the process of buying the product. So if you're doing something like a free giveaway, like a lead generation, or if you're selling an info product, or if you're trying to sell just a consulting session with someone, there's a lot of amazing stuff you can do on ClickFunnels. Like here's another social media marketing trainer. And this is her thing. It's all on ClickFunnels, looks great. And um, yeah, everything looks really good. It just tries to get you right into buying the thing. It's just a pure sales funnel. Awesome. That's what ClickFunnels is made for. 
or you guys have probably seen this one. This is Sam Owens. And so I'm pretty sure he did this on ClickFunnels. That's what it looks like at least. And this is the whole page. There aren't 30 pages of content. It's just here. Do you want to get the thing? Click the button, get the thing. That's what ClickFunnels is fantastic for. You can do more complex sites on it, but uh, the editing features aren't that great um, as uh, compared to something like a WordPress. Plus the thing with ClickFunnels is you're paying minimum $97 a month for it. And if you're getting a lot of leads and your funnels are really active, that's fine. But for WordPress, I probably pay maybe $7 a month in hosting fees. So to pay $97 a month for something um, doesn't really work for me. Plus with ClickFunnels, like say you ever want to take something down, your whole website disappears. All the work you did disappears. It totally sucks. But you should know how to use it a little bit and you should be able to make funnels with it for your clients. You know, you can do the same stuff on WordPress, but you can also do it on ClickFunnels. So there you go. That's the summary. Um, if you have a client that needs something simple, they can't pay you a lot of money and you never really want to talk to them again. You just want to set it up, get your 400 bucks and be done. Wix is great. Squarespace is great uh, for uh, sales funnels, click funnels. Uh, and for almost everything else, I use WordPress. And with WordPress, I charge between two and five thousand dollars per website. And since it's more difficult to use and there's a huge learning curve with it, not a huge, but there's a learning curve, um, then you can charge your clients two to four hundred dollars a month just for maintenance fees to only do maybe an hour or two of work for them each month or maybe even less. You could probably do 30 minutes and get away with it. So it's a great ongoing thing. All right. So I'm going to wrap that one up and I'm going to start showing you how to actually set up your first website. I hope this is helping, guys.